Hey everyone. So today I wanted to make a video because I felt like it was important for my own healing that I be honest so that I can move forward on my journey of acceptance. Two years ago, I got really sick. I had so many tests done that came back with indefinite results. I felt like I was spending weeks uh, going to different doctor's offices trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And then one day I got a phone call at work from my doctor telling me that I was HIV positive. Gotta be honest, I didn't know much about HIV at this point in my life. I felt like my world was just started spinning and I sat in my car and I just felt like I was drowning because I didn't, I just didn't want to die that young. I had to wait a month before I could see a specialist. I think it was probably one of the hardest things I emotionally had to go through, you know, waiting that whole month because I just, I didn't know how long or how far my HIV had progressed, you know, was it? to the point where it was AIDS. You know, was it gonna die? And I just like, I felt so lonely in this moment and like, didn't wanna tell anyone because I was just so afraid. Then I got to see a specialist and I started treatment and I found out that I only had HIV. So now I take a pill every single day and I really get to live relatively a normal life thanks to this medication. After four months of taking my treatment, I got my test results back from my specialist and they told me that I had reached a point where the viral load was undetectable. So what that means basically is that it was no longer affecting my immune system and that there was so little copies of the virus in my body um, that it was undetectable. But also that means that I am, that the virus is untransmittable. So I can't give it to anyone else or with, to a partner. But, you know, medication and treatment was just the first step. You know, there's this whole other side to this journey of healing that I had to embark on. You know, I had to learn how to basically love myself again and accept myself. You know, coming out as gay was already hard enough, you know? But now I had to learn to love and accept this whole new version of myself that had its own unique emotional baggage that I didn't know how to process through. Yeah, and I think when like you come out, when you come out and you understand your sexuality, you know, now there's so many communities that you can turn to and they're so easy to access. But because there's so much stigma with HIV and AIDS that no one talks about their status. So, I just felt so alone because I had no one to share this shared experience with and like talk about the things that I was going through and experiencing, you know, and, and that felt so isolating. And, you know, so I realized that I needed to, you know, make a group of people around me, a little community around me that could help me heal. But, I think telling people that you love is also such a daunting thing to do because I didn't know what 
their levels of education were when it came to HIV and AIDS. I also didn't know what types of emotional attachments they put to it. You know, so not knowing how they would react, it scared me so much because I just didn't know what they were going to do when I told them. And one of the hardest things was, is even after telling people, you know, and I had this like weight lifted off my shoulder, a lot of people didn't want to talk about it ever again. And it became this like awkward elephant in the room that no one wanted to address. And that also just made me feel lonely because I just wanted people to check in with me to make sure that I was emotionally okay. You know, but something I realized was that, you know, I needed to become strong enough and educate myself enough in order to be able to check in with myself because I couldn't rely on other people to do that for me. And so I had to put into practice, you know, and I had to spend time really practicing and setting a new routine of self-love within my life. And even thanks to COVID, I think it really held me accountable to creating these new routines in my life to hold me accountable for practicing my self-love. You know, from, you know, me becoming sober to reading a ridiculous amount of books, um, as well as just really putting a focus on fitness and eating healthy within my life. You know, because all of these things and all of these practices that I do on a daily basis, I do them for me. And they make me strong enough so that I can check in with myself and be like, Miles, are you doing okay today? How are you feeling? And I'm so grateful that all of these things were able to impact me in such a positive way so that I could move forward on this journey. I also really want to recognize, you know, the advancements of HIV and AIDS because, you know, I think that we're so lucky that we have these medications that are out there, you know, and that we get to live these normal lives um, because, of the, because of the medication. But I also want to also recognize that medication is really the first step in this journey, you know, and that there's, there's so much more that happens after you become diagnosed. So I really hope that you'll take a moment to educate yourself and learn a bit more about HIV and AIDS because the stigma still exists and is still very real and even within my own community is not being talked about enough. So in the description of this video, I have linked a whole bunch of resources that have been super impactful for me um, throughout my journey and I hope that and encourage that maybe you'll read a few of them. Lastly, I want this video to be a message of hope for myself and for others that can't talk about their HIV status. I want to stand here today tall and proud and fabulous as a queer person living with HIV in my community. And that I didn't let this defeat me. That I continue to live and push myself every single day. And that I fight and chase all of my dreams more than ever right now. Because I have to do this for myself. But I also need to do it for so many people that didn't have the opportunity to. I want to thank you all who have been there for me and all of you online that have supported me in my dreams you know, for so many years. And even when I wasn't able to talk about this, that I knew that I could find all of your beautiful light through these platforms. And it really motivated me and kept me going. And I really just like want to thank you all for that because you don't understand how much it means to me and how much every time you express what, what you love and what you share with me, it, it really just, it touches me so deeply. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for listening to this part of my story and for hearing me and allowing me to finally share this part of myself with all of you. And that I'm sending you so much love and light. Thank you.